Author Giorgios Diaz Montexano has been researching this area for years, and he's convinced that some Atlantean refugees fled inland and built shrines to memorialize their lost city. Deciphering the shrines would help Giorgios prove his theory. No se ve realmente la gente, pero sí se ven como tres barcos y como de ocho remos o doce remos cada uno. According to Giorgios, the epic of Atlantis is recorded in a series of Stone Age petroglyphs, images inscribed in stone, telling the story of a drowned city, a legendary port, and ships that once sailed the Atlantic. I think that we shoot here. But see, that's going to mean the camera is going to be... be up there. To test his theory, Georgios enlists the help of engineer Ken Boydston and Professor Gregory Hayworth, experts in forensic photography and spectral imaging, bringing lost images back to life. Yo pienso que la gente que opina que esto no es serio es simplemente porque no se lo han tomado en serio. Yo creo en la búsqueda honesta de la verdad, esté donde esté, sea cual sea y caiga quien caiga. Ready? Shoot. Shooting. I'm using the strobe as a raking light, which will bring out the shadows and the depth of the uh, incisions in the rock. Oh, yeah, this is a horse with a long flowing mane. Yeah. Shoot. Shooting. I'm looking closely at the screen, and I like what I'm seeing. I can see the hoof much more clearly. I'm looking for signs of a horseshoe which has a lip at the end and I see no signs of a horseshoe at all, which means it's pre-Roman. That would be pre-Roman. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. The investigators see wide, moat-like circles that surround the entire scene. I see a bunch of concentric circles, and in the middle of this, there's some roughly parallel straight lines. Concentric, moat-like circles are exactly what Plato reports when describing Atlantis. What's that line right above the horse? Well, that's a long, wavy line. And actually, there's a couple of them. There's one there and one, a further one up. Could they be mountains? Could they be waves? It could be water. Horse could be underwater. Could be. Could be. The horse is tilted downwards. If it's underwater, that could mean it's drowning. And it seems Shoot. that it's not the only figure beneath the apparent line of water. That looks like a boat. The, the that line. looks like a boat uh, up in the right-hand corner. Zoom in a bit, Ken. This one here looks like that's maybe the hull. That's that the could hull be of the, the hull of a boat. Yeah, yeah. And the, if that's the hull of a boat, that boat's underwater. 